Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the spire. Okay, and we got plus one strength. I'll take it. My plan is to do many attacks every turn, so that's awesome. I'm going to remove another card. Do I remove my other defend? What will that leave me with for defense? Flame Barrier, which is expensive. True Grit, which I have to exhaust something every time. And then Iron Wave and... Okay. I don't think I can get rid of this defend, so we're going to take out a strike instead. I, even I don't think I can, I'm can. i ready to get rid of that last defend. I've got to find more card, defensive cards that actually help with my strategy. He's going to give me lots of wounds. That would have been good if I had that evolve thing where wounds just you just draw cards to replace them. But uh, yeah, he's going to be unpleasant. Jax is making me take a lot of damage, but whatever. Boom. Now we can clash him and strike. And if we draw something zero cost, we can play it. Of course not. One of my only defensive cards, and I can't use it to get rid of the wounds, which is what it would be good for. Flame Barrier will stop his entire attack this turn. So that could be worse. What, is there anything here I want to put back on top? The Clash is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to want a Flame Barrier, because that's how I would stop all the damage. Let's, let's War Cry, though. We know it exhausts itself. Cards to put back on top. I gotta actually play the anger, eh? Yeah. Uh, this is not a good turn for flex, so let's put the flex back on top. And then we're going to flame barrier and anger him. Uh, I can whirlwind for zero, but does nothing because I'm not I'm not gonna be able to play both of these anyways. We're gonna headbutt him, and we're gonna get back our flame barrier because he does multi attacks all the time. Whatever. Probably dumb, but of course now he's not doing multi-attack. Screw you. Bad to go vulnerable on him because he's all aggression all the time. Uh, I'm going to lose hit points for this, but uh, let's do it. We've got five energy now. No whirlwind. We're just attacking him. Uh, we're going to flex, obviously. Just attacking him, I can do... Four, he's got 45 hit points, so I'll calculate it. So, 14 plus Sword Boomerang, which is going to be times 3 is 24, 38 damage, plus 14, so I'm at 52, which is definitely not killing him. That's not that much energy, though. I'm going to shrug it off and see if I draw something else. Clash. I don't think I can get down to that, can I? One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't clash this turn. I can't dump enough cards to do that. So I'm going to have to play more defensive. This will get me up to 20. So I guess I'll defend, which will let me clash. But I don't have enough energy to kill him with this other stuff, so we'll just sort boomerang him. And yeah, not going to reckless charge because it won't kill him. But I've got enough defense, I don't take damage that turn. Smash. Okay, we're going to Anger. I don't have any buff things. Uh, I don't really have any card drawing either, so I guess we're just going to... Do we have enough to kill him? I don't think so. 21. No, we definitely don't have enough to kill him this turn, so... Let's, uh... True Grit and remove the Strike. And we'll headbutt him. You know what? That Strike would have been enough, wouldn't it? Why, why did I do the math wrong? Oh, I don't know. We're going to put an Anger back on top of our deck, because we just want more Anger. Ow. And now Super Dead. There. Okay, never get regular enemies in question marks anymore. That's good. Potions are good, because I've been using them for once. Exhaust your hand, deal 7 damage for each exhausted card. So all those cards are not coming back that combat. It costs 2 energy. But it does clear a hand, which I would then redraw a card... I could do this first and actually have one energy and maybe keep things going. Body Slam, when you upgrade it, it costs zero. So an upgraded Body Slam could actually work with, like, if I had Armoring Up. But I don't have that many cheap, like, Armor Up cards. Do I take the Pommel Strike? I think I take the Pommel Strike. I think right now that's still helping me. Maybe I'm wrong to do that. So now, do I go question mark, question mark, shop? Or do I go fight, dude, shop? I take way more damage from these, probably. 
but that's a relic. I don't know what I'm going to get. Question marks are really good, and I can't get fights in them anymore. But that also means I might not get enough gold to do anything good at the shop. I'm not going to have enough gold for anything really good anyway. Uh, let's take the question marks. Probably dumb. 75 gold to remove a card? Sure. I'm fond of removing cards. Get rid of another regular strike? Will I have enough attacks in? I've got the angers going on. And I just took a pommel strike. So yeah, I should be okay for attacks if I eliminate this crap strike. Maybe even should have got rid of the defend, because I hate defends, but... Old coin, gain 300 gold. Okay, well, I'm not sure that's always the best, but since I'm going to a shop... I might get something good of choice from there. Right? We have the Waffle, raise your max hit points by 7 and heal it to full. That, that would be really good sometimes, not right now. Pair is just 10 max hit points. Or a Falcon. So this is a thing where if you don't have any block at the end of the turn, you gain 6 block. You can work with that, but I have been trying to keep defense in my deck. I just I don't think it's going to be worth the money for me to take that. There are 2 regen potions. That's a lot of health that I could spend the money for, even though it is still short from games. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand to deal 16 damage. That costs 2, though. That's expensive. Bloodletting is free, gains me energy. It does hurt me. I got a lot of things that hurt me. Purity is another option. It choose and exhaust up to 3 cards in your hand. It just, just helps me to make sure my deck is cycling. If I do this while I still have energy left, then I there's a good chance I'll be able to play some of the cards that I draw to replace them. Or there's Panache. If I play five cards in a single turn, it deals ten damage to all enemies and can keep going. Oh, what is this upgrade to? Fourteen damage, right. It's already free. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and it's gonna... When I add a power, it gets upgraded too. What's this upgrade? It says cost zero. Wait a minute. What, do, what else do I have that costs me health? Pro probably nothing. Just, I've got jacks. Oh, that's interesting. So, if I buy this, it gets upgraded for free. So this would be zero. If my deck was an optimized spinning top machine, then that would be great. But that's not what my deck is. So is this going to help me or hurt me? Like, that gaining strength would be awesome. And the panache would also be pretty good. I'm just not sure this is the way to go. And it cost me 125, so I can't remove a card and do all that. Gotta be removing the defend, right? Yeah, I've gotta remove the defend. And we'll see. So, 38 plus 208. Is it really gonna be, like, one short? That's 246. I have 245. I am literally one short of being able to get the Rupture and the Panache. Screw you! Um, do I take the Bloodletting? What's this upgrade to? Two energy. Yeah, two energy is pretty good. One energy is like... Eh, but it would really help my combo. So I think I should definitely buy this. And I think I'm going to buy this too, because that is going to combo with this thing. Let, let's do it. Now, do I spend money on Regen Potion? I think I do. I don't know when the next time I'm going to be at a shop is. I don't want to. I don't want to be busy like healing at these things, even though I'm about to fight a boss. So this is the Act Two boss. Can I get away with not healing? His rest is going to heal me 24, so I'd basically be at full, and I would gain a card if I want one of the cards, or I could upgrade a card with a Smith. Upgrading the Offering would draw me five cards. That's a lot. That's not actually necessarily what I need. Upgrading the Bloodletting would be pretty sweet. Rupture got upgraded for free from the Artifacts. Thank God. Pommel Strike, when you upgrade it, it's draw two cards. That's one of the reasons it's cool. Is that what I want, though? No, I need to upgrade my Anger. I only have one Anger. Oh, man. Okay, I need to upgrade my Anger. Screw everything else. Rage. I have historically not appreciated this guy. I also don't like that I have the whirlwind in my hand right now. I need to cycle that as fast as possible. 
Yeah, I don't need to true grit first turn. It's going to be a weak ass first turn. Yeah, Sword Boomerang is going to do 12. That's more than one whirlwind hit. Oh, wait. I forgot to flex first. I lost two damage there already. Break the regen potion. Don't, 10 damage to all enemies. Okay, come in handy at some point. Yeah, his minions are big. That's why I don't like him. They are not small little wussy minions. Okay. So we're going to Jax. Uh, let, let's Warcry first, right? Because we have Rupture in there. If we can get the Rupture first, then Jax is worth more. And it is. Um, I'm putting back on top. This might be a good turn to Flame Barrier. Do I have enough energy to support all this? Maybe we put the Shrug It Off back on top. And then I'll just Rupture... Jax, Iron Wave, and Flame Barrier, they'll take some damage, best I can do. So yeah, let's put that back on top and have it for next round. Rupture! Now I gain one strength whenever I lose hit points, this is lose hit points to gain strength, so now I have more strength. Unfortunately it doesn't seem to affect the Flame Barrier, but that's okay. Flame Barrier it up, Iron Wave, I uh, gotta get rid of these guys I think, I can't take so much damage. Uh, I've lost to this guy a number of times. Ow. Oh man, this is going to be a painful hand, but I'll gain a lot of strength. Uh, reckless Charge. If I can kill these guys, then the Reckless Charge is okay. And I can use the Reckless Charge to kill those guys. Man, this hurts. I really need to upgrade this thing. Uh, let's Offering first and see what cards I get. Then it goes away. The Bloodletting doesn't even go away. You can keep Bloodletting yourself to death. I can headbutt a card back on top of my deck and then draw it. Anger, hello. Yeah, so we want to headbutt the anger on top. Then we want to shrug it off. Anger! We're going to see about killing him. I'm going to get them both. If I bloodletting, I will gain additional energy and hit points. Uh, it's also the only non-attack card in my hand, so if I do this now, I can... 20, and then this is going to kill... Yeah, okay. So let's... Killify him. Killify him, so we'll get more angers in there. Then we'll Pommel Strike, see if we can draw an anger, it'd be nice. No, Sword Boomerang will still do a bunch of damage. And we can Reckless Charge because he's not doing any damage. We're n if I bloodletting... If I draw anything but Flame Barrier, then I can turn this into more damage. This is why if I upgraded this, then anything I draw would be worth it. So I will gain one strength from playing this. Uh, the hit points might kill me, but I'll gain one strength, and I'll draw a card that I can use right away, unless it's Flame Barrier. Oh, I guess I had one energy left. Okay, Flame Barrier. That's not actually helping me. Anger is. Can I draw more anger? No. Clash. See, that's that's some combo stuff starting up there. But I've taken a lot of damage, and he can deal a lot of damage. Oh, he did, like, nothing last round, right? Now or now he's going to hit me with, like, all the negative effects in the universe, I think. But I've got to turn to try and do stuff to him first. So let's see. Especially one. So if I gain two strength, I've got seven right now. I'd have nine strengths. I'd be doing. I could whirlwind for like forty-five. No, we're definitely not. We're not in killing him range. He's pretty tough. So we want to shrug it off first, or true grit gets like I could remove the shrug it off and then yeah, have less energy for the future. Man, because I want to get the thing going. We're going to flex either way. Do I just shrug it off and then see what I'm going to exhaust with the true grit? I think I might be exhausting the shrug it off. Just try and make this turn better, even though it might hurt me in the future. Then we're going to Iron Wave. Then we're going to Whirlwind him. 
and draw a card that costs one instead of one of the two angers that were left. Awesome. I really wish I had an energy potion. Okay, he's hit me with every bad thing, but he doesn't have any minions out, so it could have actually been worse. But his 31 damage is going to hit. If I'm vulnerable, he's going to, like, murder me. So that's a problem. Okay, I can put a card on top and then I'll draw it. Right now it would be the flex. That's not as great. I can do it with an anger or the clash. So I'm just going to do more. Fill my deck up with angers. I, I can't go infinite, I don't think. I don't have that... Uh, I'm going to try... And I don't have to go really infinite, I just have to go close enough to infinite that he dies. So we're going to off my deck. Now I'm going to draw the anger. So slightly less damage than if I'd taken the clash. Okay. True grit. There's nothing to exhaust, but it's going to cost me one energy to keep going. Iron wave costs me an energy, but I gain some armor. Do I get another anger? Of course not! But that armor might let me live, and then hopefully next turn I can kill him. I do have 10 damage from an explosive potion, if it'll finish him. Okay. Uh, this all hurts. Let's start out with the Pommel Strike. Let's see what we get. Flame Barrier. That is not what I need. Um, that's only 9 block because I'm debuffed. I will definitely die from that, but I think we should be able to kill him. Or can we? Yes, we can. Okay. I don't even have to potion. Alright, that guy is pretty threatening, but I kind of got the thing going. What do we have? Another offering? Double tap is amazing. Is your next attack this turn? Okay, that, that could work. The offering is amazing, but I've got a lot of these things that are hurting me, and they're hurting me a lot. I'm not sure I want another. Barricade is too expensive. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. Cool power, but it's so expensive. Even though it would be upgraded for free for me. I think it's, uh, I think it just goes down to two, it's still too expensive. Double tap is so strong, though. Even though it doesn't necessarily fit my deck, I'm going to take it, because it's so, so, super strong. And our boss, Relic, okay. Tiny House is one potion, 30 gold, five max HP, obtain one card, upgrade one random card. Three curses and three relics, now curses are bad for me. Or the Sozu. Is, which is gain, like, an extra energy, but you can no longer use potions. Now that I've been using potions, that is an actual drawback, but this, I don't feel like is helping me enough. I, I think the energy is going to do more for me. The curses is a note that I, I, is unacceptable for what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so that gets us to Act 3... So we're going to see if I'm, I'm getting close to having a functional, like, yeah, a functional spinning top deck. Let's see if I can actually get it working next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.